Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here, and we're going to revisit imagery taken on Soul 1033 by the Rover Curiosity. And the reason for this is because I've been working with a man named Kim Carrier, and we are determined to prove that there was a genocide on Mars, and we're looking for new ways to bring this evidence to you to make it tangible. Now, I ran across this image that we're pointing to right there with the purple arrow, a couple of years ago, and I've talked about it several times, made several videos about it, but I'm having trouble getting people to take me for serious about this thing. Take a good look at this. Now, we have more information on it now. We've been able to measure it and look at some different angles, and look at this. We have developed this 3D computer model of the object. Now, this is based on Kim Carrier's hand-molded model, and we're not going to show that in uh, this episode, we will save that because he is redoing that, another version of it, and subsequently I will develop another computer version. Now our plan is to find a way to make these available to you, to the public. Now, neither one of us have the intent on profiting from this, so we're just going to have to figure it out. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of other objects that we will make available, including quite possibly Maybe a reproduction of this entire mound, hill, whatever you want to call it. And what we are looking at now is nav cam imagery, navigational camera imagery. And there is the object that we were just looking at. This is where we get our size and distance measurements. And there we go. Let's talk about the height of this mound. It's 12 and a half feet tall. That's it. And we've detailed in other videos as well on marsfam.net in the measurement section of just how we do this. Now that object is sitting just to the left of her left shoe. That's right, it's not very big. We believe it is less than one foot in height. We took a profile measurement, but it's very difficult with this object because in the nav cam imagery, it is very far off in the distance. And we took several measurements, but they all came out to less than one foot. Normally, if it's up close, we can give you a very accurate measurement. Now, here is a measurement of the height of this mound, hill, whatever you want to call it, at this point it is 12 feet, that's 3.7 meters. And what we're looking at here, you can see the 12.5 foot measurement and the 20 foot measurement is the distance along the baseline. In other words, if you were to just walk straight forward into that hill, you would walk out, it looks like a little over 20 feet while rising 12.5 feet, if that makes sense. Now here is a wonderful 360 degree panoramic mosaic made up of uh, navigational camera uh, single shots. And the object that we were just looking at is way back there, okay? Remember, this is a 12 foot tall rise. There's a lot of evidence over there, but folks, we need to look here. This is really good. And the first thing I want you to notice is the rover tracks, 8.9 feet outside to outside that was measured by me and it is what it's supposed to be it is correct that should help put it to perspective for you and 23 feet away from the rover sticking out of the soil folks that's not a rock that is debris and there may be markings on it we're going to look at that again in a moment take a good look remember i told you <laughs> these nav cam images aren't quite as obfuscated as those mass cam images because they don't have the resolution. Resolution. I have trouble saying that word. Take a good look. Take a good look. I shouldn't have to describe this for you. You should be able to see yourself. When you realize that so much of what you are seeing is not a bunch of rock, but it is rubble and debris, you'll realize that every single bit of it is. Now we're going to have this up in 3D on the Mars Fam site soon. I don't have it there yet, but it will be soon. Folks, it's really important that as many people as possible look at this. This is important stuff, okay? So let's take a look at a different mosaic, uh, nav cam imagery again, a little bit different perspective. It's turned a little bit more to the right, but you're going to see the same thing, just a little different. Take a good look. It's pretty clear. 
I really love this. Uh, it's actually two objects. You'll notice that in 3D. And this right here, folks, how many times do I have to say, none of this stuff is rocks, none of it at all. Look at that. Now, what we've done here is taken the individual nav cam shot and I was just really trying to look with a uh, contrast filter to see what I could see. Not trying to fool anybody, folks. It's just, it is what it is. And you saw that, hopefully you saw that marking on those and, and just look at some of the detail this is able to bring out on all of this. I think it's just incredible that we think all the pictures from Mars are just fuzzy things when it comes to, hey, that's something. It's not, not at all. Well, I take it back. It's fuzzy when they want it to be fuzzy. All these images should have absolute fidelity. Now, this is a HasCam image, hazard cam, and you can see the same objects, but from quite a bit different perspective. We're lower to the ground. They're all still there. And I know there's a whole lot more stuff. People will let me know you missed this and you missed that. Well, maybe, maybe not. It's just that there's so much. This is all evidence, such as that. And we could find stuff all day and all night here. And, you know, look at this. I, I think this is evidence. These uh, ledges. I think there's a motif involved here. Now I'm going to leave you with this gigapan created by uh, none other than Keith Laney. We've talked about him before. I'll leave the link to it in the description. He takes the alleged raw PDS data. Like I've said before, I do not believe that's raw, but he takes that and uh, renders these himself. And just take a look, folks. I love his colors and the clarity. And if you cannot see this, it's one of these cases where you just absolutely refuse. You've got it in your mind already that this cannot be possible. There's got to be some other explanation. There's not. The explanation is, there is an annihilated civilization on Mars. That is what is being investigated by the rover Curiosity and others. They've known this since at least 1976. Okay, folks, this coming Wednesday, November the 4th, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be going live on a show out of New York called Mind Dog TV. It's very important that uh, we do these type things because uh, word of mouth and things like live shows where people are willing to talk to us is the only way we can propagate what we offer on this channel. Google, uh, who now owns YouTube, changed their algorithm a year and a half ago and just put a dead stop to propagating this channel. They haven't canceled the channel, but they do not offer this channel or others like it as suggested videos anymore. So these are the things that we need to do. So uh, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, follow it over to Mind Dog TV and this Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard or 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, make sure you drop in and uh, support what we are trying to tell everyone because this is not about money. This is about humanity and what is right. See y'all then.